children welcome to today's evs class we are doing the 17th chapter nandita in mumbai today's subtopic is village and city life the expected learning outcomes of today's class are understanding of differences between village and city life identification of facilities found in the cities to develop critical thinking and generate new ideas the competences covered here are observation and reporting identification and classification discovery of facts children in our previous class you have learned that mumbai is the capital city of maharashtra slums are the places in big cities with very small houses where many poor people live together here is one comparison between the village life and the city villages have open spaces and have less population whereas cities have no open spaces and are thickly populated villages do not have slum areas in cities there are many slum areas in villages good hospitals educational institutions and job opportunities are not available whereas in cities good hospital facilities educational institutions and job opportunities are available today we are going to learn in details about the differences in village and city life look here the picture of a village it has so much of open space and it looks so clean with fresh air isn't it villages have less population as compared to the cities look here the picture of a city it is looking so crowded and it has tall buildings so many people live here it is very thickly populated but in the cities there are bus stops schools nearby you have markets post offices railway station airport nearby in the cities hospitals banks are also available nearby in the cities whereas in the villages people have to move very far to go to these places in cities you can see slum areas where so many people live together in very small houses these places are very dirty In the villages people get drinking water from hand pumps wells or from the rivers or ponds some of them have to walk long distances to get the drinking water whereas in the tall buildings in the cities water is available inside the house through the taps bathrooms are also located inside the buildings in slum areas people have to take water from the common taps available in the slums look here the picture where the houses of the slum area are being demolished do you know why sometimes the houses of the slum areas are broken because new buildings are to be constructed there in such cases people face lot of difficulties as they have to move to other places to settle down so children today you have learned that in villages people get drinking water from 
hand pumps, wells, rivers or ponds. Sometimes they have to walk long distances to get water. In cities, in the tall buildings, drinking water facilities are inside the house. In cities, in the slum areas, people get water from a common tap and also use a common toilet. Facilities like hospitals, post office, banks, markets, bus stops, railway stations, airports are available nearby in the cities, whereas in villages they are very far. Sometimes the people of the slum areas have to move to new places as the slums are demolished to make new buildings. Villages are less populated whereas cities are thickly populated. Children, today's assignment is Question number 1. Where from people get water in villages? Question number 2. Where from people get water in the slums? Question number 3. Which facilities are available nearby in the cities? Children, Write down these answers in your notebook and learn the answer with your spellings. That's all in today's class. Thank you.